All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the stream. How are you all doing today? I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. I know I certainly am. All right, guys. So today, uh, new dungeon. Super excited for this one. It's just called The Quickening. Um, tagline's Godspeed. I have a feeling this is going to be a really fast dungeon. It does have a reduced timer on it, 20 minutes instead of 30. It is a hard difficulty dungeon, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, loot this week, tech kibble processor, tech rifle, tech grenade, foundation, and then the megalodon saddle. So, not bad. Um, kibble processor obviously is something you definitely want. Now, because it's a fast dungeon and I trust absolutely nothing, I'm actually going to grab some stamina brews. I forgot to grab those before we started. There we go. Just to make sure. And then I am going to go ahead and take my sleeping buff. There we go. Get that little stamina boost to make this a little bit quicker. <laughs> uh, David, thank you so much for the super chat, man. That is so appreciated. Uh, your chat isn't working. Like, the actual chats aren't working? That's kind of odd. Alright, guys, let's go ahead and hop right into this dungeon. Beautiful. Awesome. So it's definitely a ruins dungeon. Um, there is a... There is a loot crate right here. I will take it. Thank you very much. Give me that minute. Alright. We're gonna have to actually, like, start speeding through this since we are on a limited timer. I normally take more time with this. Alright, let's run this way. Um, we are gonna head towards the top first. It looks like there is... Yeah, it looks like there is a big event room off to the side. Hi, Archaeopteryx. Hi, Megaloceros. But I'm going to grab this loot crate, give myself that extra minute. Perfect. Just kind of boost that up so that we have that little bit of extra time to do whatever this room is going to be. Have a su suspicion it's going to be a fast room. Ouch, I got hit by spikes because I'm smart. Um, also looks like there's a wall trap here. If it's going to do its thing, I don't want to waste too much time here. I could go around. I'd prefer not to. Wall trap, please. Are you the two tap? Yep, there we go. Perfect. All right, uh, first room, guys. Let's real quick go ahead and throw on some soups. We got some frog legs, too. Alright, Turbo Trudons. Um, I hope I have enough stims for this. Get rid of these. Alright, they're super fast. Oh my gosh. Luckily, it's not a no armor room. But you still have to watch that stim, because they do so much torpor. There we go. All right. I'm using the pike for the range, guys. Uh, the sword could also work really well in here. All right, gotta figure out where they are. Oh, they came for me. Take that stimulant, just keep that torpor down. Gosh, they're so fast. They are so fast. All right, where is he? There he is. Got him. I didn't even see him, but I got him. All right, cool. Threat's been cleared. Gives us a few extra minutes to sit here and kind of evaluate. Um, all right, so this is the Truton room. It's really long. It's like really, really long, guys. Uh, this actually takes up most of this side of the dungeon. I'm not super sure I want to do this huge run through. Yeah, there's more down there, but I have a feeling we're going to have to come back through this room. So let's go ahead and do the top part of this room first. We'll go out the top right-hand side where we started, um, and then we'll go from there. We'll probably run into more rooms first, but I'm okay with that. Totally okay with that. Alright, uh, let's go down here, get these loot crates. Alright. 
it. There should be one here. Beautiful. Speed run. That's the way to do it. All right. Bad blueprints again. Ugh, every time. It still makes me sad. It's always going to make me sad. I am grateful it's not an ice dungeon that they decided to deal with this with. Um, yep, that's the facility door. Okay, cool. Good to know. So that's the facility door. Let's go ahead and backtrack here. Making sure I'm going the right way. Yeah, we're good. All right, so we're going to have to go into the southern part of this dungeon to get the stuff. Um, can I say the code to your server? Uh, which server? There aren't codes on the free access servers. They're all just uh, free to join. All right, what we're going to do is grab the loot crates down here on the right and then head off to those pieces up there on the left. Let's give myself as much time as I can. Whoop. Hello. Very inconveniently placed rib cage. All right. I love having this infinite stam, especially for this first part of the run. It's actually super handy. Grab this. Single player tech buff OP. Okay. Uh, all the way down to the bottom? Yeah. We'll do it as we come back. That's, that's going to be the new plan. All right. Got all this stuff on the left, so now we just need to do all the stuff on the other side of this dungeon. Alright, got our bolas. There's a wall trap up there. That's nothing. Okay. That might be too slow. I got it. I got it. Oh, hi, Tap. That scared me. I actually was a little slow in that dungeon, uh, that wall trap, but that's okay. We did fine. We didn't die. Nope. No, I want these loot crates. Gotta get them all. The one I was playing on yesterday. Um, okay, so the one I was playing on on Sunday, that is a patron-only server. Uh, if you do want to play on that and get the passcode for it, you do have to become a patron of the channel. Um, if you are currently not a patreon you can become one by clicking on the link that should be in the video description down below the stream um and if you cannot become a patreon that's why i do have the free servers and i do still play on them i'm just trying to build up my uh my base a little bit on that patron server so that it's a little bit up uh, <laughs> lava trap uh, I'm just trying to build up my base on that server before I start bouncing back and forth between Toast District and Toast Kingdom. What? Oh, yeah. Like, wait, I know what they did here. Okay. There we go. Got the whole thing. Gosh, I love aerial symbiotes. They make that so much easier. All right, immediately another wall trap. Okay. So that was the wall trap, and here we are in another room, guys. <laughs> Lava almost feels strange now. It does, Takara. I haven't seen one in a few weeks. I mean, technically, it's the same trap as the ice trap, but it just feels weird. Turbo Dimetrodons. Okay, so... Lots of torpor this week, which makes sense. Come here. Whoops, that was the wrong time to reload. That's not what I wanted. Game, please. Yeah, lots of torpor this week is what I'm getting. That's one. Hi. You know, all of this might be easier with a sword. Whenever there's a fast creature involved, I feel like it's just a little quicker to use melee. 
Yeah, especially when your shots go right through the creature because they're so close to you, which I actually really hate. I think that's a really stupid mechanic. That's a cool looking Dimetrodon, not gonna lie. That white one? I like it. I like it! Can you stop biting me? That'd be great. One more. All right, there we go. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse, guys. <laughs> All right, we'll just sip that medical brew, let it do its thing. Uh, let's grab the loot crate. Where am I? Over there. Okay. Grab loot crate, grab all these loot crates, and then head off to the next stage. Not bad. We've got ourselves a whole half hour left in the dungeon. A whole half hour, and all of these gosh darn useless blueprints. Unfortunately, this is like the one time I do think it's worth getting loot crates just for the time. I always get them all anyway, but you know, the time is helpful. So far, I've only seen two rooms, and I'm kind of wondering what else there is in store for us. Hello, Archaeopteryx. I see you. Prentice long neck rifle. Garbage. Facility key. All right, guys. Facility key is over here on the right. Hopefully, you guys can see the tiny little yellow dot. Um, right side of the dungeon, this kind of funky-shaped room right here after the Dimetrodon room. That's the facility key. Let's go grab the other loot crates real quick. Yeah, this way. Beautiful. Um, thank you so much to whoever just subbed. Shima, thank you for subbing. Welcome to the channel. And then Vero as well, thank you and welcome to the channel. Hope you're enjoying today, guys. Alright, let's go ahead and here. Grab this. All the loot crates. Simple collar. I love when I get collars, dude. Especially the simple ones. I feel like the simple ones are, like, the most useful in some ways. I always just use them to, like, tag where a creature is. Um, the health buff is just kind of a, a bonus. Alright, hemostatic serums. Lovely. Okay, so back up to the Dimetrodon room. Looks like our stamina buff finally wore off, but that's okay. We are otherwise doing fine. Um, Lazy, thank you so much for subbing. Welcome. How's it going, man? Trying to, like, keep up with the notifications. Okay, so right across this way? No. This way. This way. I get so turned around. Uh, would a parachute work on the lava jumps? Yes. Um, yes, it would. Parachutes are a little harder to use on that because you do have to hit them in midair. But they should theoretically work. I could have gone there, but that's okay. I'll wait for it. You got 34 minutes. We should be fine. Wait for it. This one. There we go. All right. Make it past the wall trap. Okay, we have to make it back past the lava trap. I don't trust this enough, guys. I'm going to go ahead and throw up a save. <laughs> we've we've gone through a lot of the dungeon, and I don't want to have to redo it. So we're just going to do this real quick. What are the public servers called, and can I access it in England? Jams, yes, you can. Uh, the connection might be a little weak because the servers are hosted in L.A., but the public servers are called Iguana PvE, Iguana PvP, and Toast District. Basically named after what they are. <laughs> My name on Toast District, it's always the Iguana. It's always the Iguana. There we go, guys. We're back. Let's go ahead and throw this on. Where did I... Where is it? Thank you. Want to use the, the almost dead aerial symbiote first. Doop. Okay. 
I'm actually impressed I haven't died to one of those lava traps in a long time. I'm sure it would be a different story on a server. Alright, let's go. This is a speed dungeon. We gotta be speed running, right? That's what that's all about. That's how that works. Oh gosh, where am I? Hold up. Okay, long hallway. Yes. Long hallway, wall trap. Whoop. Okay, it's gonna do its thing. There we go. Okay, so we did all that. Now on to the middle stage. I did get the facility key, but I do want to get all of the other stuff um, from this room, which is all up here on the right before we get to the facility gate. Let's drink some water. Over this way. Get all these loot crates off here. See what this part of the dungeon has to offer. Other than a bunch of axes. Whee. These are such a relief to just walk through. Like, casually stroll through them like it's not a big deal. <laughs> After the ice spikes, like, it's so nice to be able to just go through those quickly. Um, is the water room? Sweet, thank you for the water. Thank, appreciate. Alright, let's go this way. Grab this one, another water room. Can I? Gimme. Thank you. Stubborn game. All right. This way, this way. Should be two loot crates on this side and then one on the other. There's a wall trap there, so I do need to be a little careful. I saw it. Um, <laughs> who was that that just subbed? Amal, thank you so much for subbing, man. Welcome to the channel. How's it going? Ooh, ah. I'm going to wait for it because I almost ran headfirst into that. I was just speeding on by. <laughs> it's totally fine. Okay, so there's a wall trap. That's the tech. All right, guys, so tech right here off the Dimetrodon room, kind of dead center of the map. This is the tech. I got the foundation. doesn't really matter. I have all of these blueprints anyway. Might have been nice to have the the better Megalodon saddle blueprint, just cause. But that's where the tech is, guys. Alright, should be soon. For it. This one. Okay. Onward. Facility door, and then we out. Yeah, this is the right way. Gotta double check. Water looks slightly yellow. It's creeping me out. Alright. Yeah, there's a wall trap here. I'll just go through it. Could go around it, I bet. But I'll go through it. Uh, now I'm gonna wait. More fool I if I run too late. Wait for it. There we go. Okay. Finally. All right, so let's go up to the facility door, renew all the soups and stuff, and then head through the last bit of this dungeon. Still at about 35 minutes on the timer, which is not the worst. All right, we already got all these loot crates, so it's just the door. Bam. Feels good. All right, so this is like a little pre thing to the actual event room which looks genuinely terrifying so yeah i'm gonna take a medical brew i'm gonna put my soups on that's how we're gonna do this constantine thank you so much for subbing welcome to the channel how are you doing today i almost never use the enduro stews anymore it makes me sad i feel like i should be using them all right what do we got turbo megatherium this is gonna hurt guys this is, this is actually going to be a little painful. Are you going to stay far enough away and not aggro on me? Can I take these one at a time? That would be lovely, actually. Because this is going to suck. That's one. 
This is actually great. If I can, like, do these one at a time like this, I will feel a little better about life. Hi. All right. Let's do this. It's a big room to run around, but that's why we have the soups on. Stamina recovery. Hi. Okay. Um, this guy. Actually, wait, this guy. There's some weird sound effects in this one. You are so pretty. You are like the whitest megatherium. My blue ones are better. Hi. Oh, gosh. You're like spazzing out so bad. The good news is, is that these are actually so fast that they have trouble hitting you because they kind of overshoot, which makes it pretty easy to take your time and kill them, shockingly. So they only hit you like once or twice. Normally, megatheriums are a lot more of a problem than this. They're, they're actually too fast for their own good. It's amazing, and I love it. All right, come here, buddy. Hi. They each get about one hit on me. That's not terrible. <laughs> I can handle it. I can handle it. Oh my gosh, guys. Please, what's up with the chat today? All the people getting timed out and stuff. Alright, let's grab this guy. Hi. That was easy, actually. Kind of amazing. They gave us frog legs, but they gave it to us too early, and now I can't use them at all. Okay, let's go ahead and run. Wow, this is a huge room. Takes up most of the map. Yeah, okay. Going the right way. I'm gonna get these tech crates, or loot crates, I guess. They're not actually tech crates, which makes me sad. Now that I think about it. Um, I think there's an event room off this way. Looks like. Definitely looks like there could be an event room over there. So let's get the rest of these crates first. Prentice Pike, lovely. Got that. Alright, there's a bunch of loot crates down here, but I don't think it's an event room. Yeah, let's run over here. I think... There's not anything on that side, so I think we can grab these and then move on to all the loot crates and then on to that last whatever event room it is. Wait, did I just get a whole... I think I read that right. Guys, I just got a straight up tap saddle. That's actually awesome. Um... I might grind that up for element, because I already have a tap saddle. That's actually really cool. I didn't know you could get this from loot crates. Um, <laughs> I didn't know you could get straight up tech saddles from loot crates. That makes me happy. I dig it. Alright, yeah, I don't think there's anything back on this side, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just going to double check by getting a little closer to it. Yeah, okay. There's nothing on that side, so let's go grab the loot crates down here, and then head up to that event room up top. Not this one, this one. Grind up the lower armor saddle. That's what I'm gonna do. That is what I'm going to do. Get all that free element. Black pearls. Why would I not? Got a spiked collar. Love those. Those are actually relatively rare to get. The spike collars. That is a wall trap. Be careful. There is a wall trap here. But I bet there's premium items. Is it a two tap? No, this is a one tap. I can go the next time. Sweet. What's my armor? Um, Jennifer, I think it's actually all told around 3k. Might be a little less than even. My riot chest piece is like 1k. 
my gloves are super weak. They're only like 600 something armor and like no dura. My boots are like 982 armor. I was looking at those earlier. Um, it's sufficient. I try to just get like the best, um, I try to get really good combinations of high armor and high durability on my armor. So I don't have the best armor like number, but the durability on all of my armor is pretty good, except for the gloves, of course. Um, which really, really helps in dungeons because that high durability is actually going to go towards keeping you alive longer. The armor makes you take less damage, but if you have like 3k armor, you're not taking a huge amount of damage generally. So having that little bit of extra, um, yeah, having that little bit of extra durability can really make a difference, can actually be more useful in the long run. Did I straight up run past this wall trap? No, it's right here. Thank you. Hey. Okay. Onwards. I think we got them all. I'll just walk through those like nothing. I love it. I love that they are basically nothing to me now. <laughs> the axe traps are never a problem compared to the spike traps. All right, one more, and I believe this is the last little chunk of the dungeon. Looks like there's one more event room. Uh, this is a water room. Beautiful. Spikes. Yeah, this is definitely it. Last event room. Let's go ahead and check everything. Um, I'm going to drop that and that. Just so we're not quite as weighed down by random stuff. I need to eat as well. Where's my mushrooms? Delicious. Mmm. Tasty. Diet of champions. Okay. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Uh... Let's see, turbo arthros. Aw, rip my armor. And unfortunately, when you have arthros, ranged is the way to go. Let's drink a little bit of stuff. Nope. Whee! They do kind of hold still when they go to spit their acid at you. Yeet that one out of existence, please. Which ones are alive? They're there. Um, range does the way to go. Range does more damage on these guys, not to mention... Uh, you don't want to use melee weapons on these guys because it will destroy your stuff. Which is always a problem. Aw, oh, man. Almost. There we go. Headshots on Arthros. That's the way to go. There's the boss teleporter, which means there is one here. That was only, what, four event rooms, guys? Trudons, Dimetrodons, Megatheriums, and Arthropleura. Right? Comfy color. Nice. Only four. Did I miss one? <laughs> Did I miss one? I'm actually a little confused. All right, well, let's go see who the boss is. Almost 40 minutes, 45 minutes almost left on this clock. Not bad for starting with 20. I think we did a good job. Um, I'm gonna eat one more mushroom just to make sure we're full up on that. I'm gonna check my buffs. I have these soups, but I don't know if they're working. Or will be working. So let's go ahead and throw up a save real quick, guys. Always a good idea. Um, I am going to start the weekly dungeon pursuit as well. I'm not going to forget that again. <laughs> I've been really good at this. Not forgetting. Get a shield. Uh, shields are great. Shields do work. Um, shields do help a lot, especially in, like, no armor rooms. Um, but they are very heavy, so I don't normally bring them. Um, I usually don't have that much trouble with the rooms in any case. Uh, where's this weekly pursuit? I have so many pursuits I just haven't bothered to do. 
because I'm like already level 100 doesn't super matter <laughs> uh what is this boss we're about to find out Megapithecus Megapithecus that's the boss come here mr. monkey man hi oh I've missed you come here throw your rock at me <laughs> hi and we run Whee! All right, I'm gonna go an extra one. I always forget how good the music is in this room, guys. I'm not gonna lie, the music in this room is by far my favorite. This dungeon boss has the best music. And I'm pretty sure each one has slightly different music, but... That Megapithecus noise is just like, it's so good. Like, I'd rock out to this track. Die, please. Hi! You stuck? That's a shame. No, thank you. No, I don't want to play. Whee! Let's do it. Alright. Reverse direction. Hi, buddy. Yeah. I don't feel very friendly towards you. I see the little monkey coming for me, so I'm gonna scooch over here while I reload. Get these out of my way. There we go. Da, da, da. Where is he? Hi! Whoop. Totally forgot that this was something I should be paying attention to. Just keep those out of my way. Because they're annoying! Oh, that's bad. I don't want to get hit. I don't want to get hit. I don't want to get hit. Whee! Alright, let's go. <laughs> Would a compound bow work better? Um, a compound bow might give you more damage per hit and be a little bit more accurate, but the spray of the shotgun actually works really well. Um, because I don't have to be as accurate when I'm, like, panic shooting. <laughs> I, I really like shotguns for these fights. Also, the, uh, ammo's a little bit, um... A little bit cheaper and a little bit lighter so you can take more ammo in and the shotgun pellets like I said they're really good for that spray burst damage which I really just like to have when there's minions around because I can usually hit multiple minions at once with it um, I like to save my compound bow for the jellyfish because I can't use a gun on the jellyfish um, and I don't want to have to bring in tons of armor. Also, I don't have, like, the attack button on screen because it annoys me. And I think that bows work better with that attack button on screen because sometimes my screen likes to be non-responsive and it doesn't do the double tap to draw. Like, it just doesn't want to do it. So I have to, like, spend time tapping the screen until it will actually draw the darn bow. Which is not what you want when you're in a high-stress situation. You just want a weapon that you can fire quickly. Um, so, I like guns for that reason. Ah, that looked like it would have hurt. That's okay. Whee! You coming? Or are you stuck? Hi. You're not stuck yet. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Did I kill too many of your minions? Are you mad? That's lovely. I don't care. Whee! Can we run? Game? Thank you. I have the same problem with the auto run, uh, or with the run on the game. Sometimes it just doesn't want to take off. There we go. That's what I like. Stay there for a second. 
So, like, it'll hit these little guys without me really even needing to aim too carefully, which is nice. Now, he can still throw stuff at me, which is not what you want, so I gotta be a little careful when he's stuck there. Go away. Dang it. Yep, see that? Those little minions in between. I actually managed to hit those when we're doing this, which is nice. Can you die so that I can, like, not deal with these things? Nope. Alright. I'm spending a lot of time on minions. That's... Oh, that almost hurt. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Point blank in the face. There we go. Sweet. Thank you. We did it. Uh... <laughs> David, thank you so much for the super chat. Do the dungeons tell Arc Mobile's story? Yes, actually they do. Um, the dungeons are worked into the lore of Arc Mobile. So if you actually do go read these trophy notes, um, they have like notes uh, this way. They have notes by Dr. Sophia, who I believe is actually Dr. Sophia Rockwell. I think she's like the niece in this, uh, in the Ark Mobile lore. She's like the niece of uh, Rockwell from the PC versions. Um, and she basically has been doing experiments with Amber and um, how to create eerie elements and eerie dinos and stuff. And the bosses are actually um, eerie element infused creatures that have that were being experimented upon. And uh, the amber basically is what allows you to travel through time. And so these dungeons are technically like a point in time in the past when they were studying these creatures um, for you to go through. It's really cool. There we go. Uh, I really like the lore that they've created. There's also, when you set the trophies up, they have, like, different, um, different little notes that you can read. There's information on the actual creatures when you have the trophies up, and then there is information, um, about Dr. Sophia before you set them up as trophies. So, like, you can read the actual, um, pre- and post-exposure notes for whatever your creature is, and then if you just are reading the notes, um from Dr. Sophia, um, they're two different texts. So there's a lot of information on these trophies that I think people don't always look at. But yeah, guys, um, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Is the boulder one hit KO? No, but it hurts a lot. Uh, if he hits you, I believe it can be a one hit KO. So you don't want to let the Megapithecus actually get too close to you because he will one hit knock you if he can, which happens. Um, do I have a room of all the trophies? Not on single player, but I do have all the trophies, and I am considering making a trophy room, but I want to make it an entire dungeon, like, tech trophy room, because I have enough element built up at this point that I might do that at some point. Um, so that might be, like, one of the last solo episodes that ever comes out, because this is my season one solo series that I've just kind of converted into a dungeon series. But yeah, guys, um... Thank you so much for watching. The dungeon's not too hard. You just gotta be, gotta be fast. Um, watch out for those wall traps. They will get you. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you did find yourself enjoying this one, guys, please remember to hit the like button. It really, really helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, guys, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off. This is the Iguana.